Hi y'all, it's Latrice Bartley with Beauty and Purpose and it is Motivational Tuesday. Listen, I just want to take a couple of, um, of your minutes this evening, not this morning, and just share with you. If you are listening to me, welcome to this episode of Motivational um, Tuesday. If you are watching me, welcome to our YouTube channel. But y'all, I am so motivated to share this with you because I, well, first, let me just introduce myself. I am one of the co-owners of Beauty and Purpose. Um, you can go to www.beautyandpurpose.org to find out a little bit more about me. Um, but Motivational Monday is something that God gave me um, as a way to encourage um, the believers to get into the Word of God. Um, our anchor, our foundation is in the Word of God. The Word is lively. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. Um, it prunes. It changes. It, it is everything. It is our manual for life. And only when we get into the Word of God and not just, you know, go to church, not just memorize the scripture, but study God's Word, meditate on His Word, live out His Word, Therein lies our success. And so I'm here just to encourage you with that. But I wanted um, to come from a couple of angles and just share some things personally um, today. First of all, I am a mom. I am a wife. I have three beautiful children and I am still working my full-time job. So Please excuse if you are watching me, the tired eyes. Y'all, I'm so tired. Um, still in my work clothes. I have, I am at my little coffee table. Listen, there is nothing um, cute about this setup right now other than my motivation and commitment to the Lord. And I just wanted to get this to you. So here I am. Um, and I also want to be a testimony to, you know, other women. Um, I will share with you if anybody saw my post from this weekend, I was sharing a moment with my family and with my kids. And one of the things that I do with them is each week we take a word and we discuss that word for the week and we have a theme for the month. And so our word for this week was influence. And I've been teaching them what it means to be an influence, that you can be a bad influence or a good influence. Um, you can be an influence in school. You can even be an influence amongst each other. You know, maybe when one is struggling with something, encourage your brother encourage your sister. Um, don't be one that you, you're the one that starts trouble, but choose how, what influence, but then understanding to be a good influence, you need someone to help you. You don't know what's good, but that's where God comes in. So in everything, tying things back to the word of God, our theme um, for this month is I am teaching them in everything that they do to do it as unto the Lord, um, whether it's going to school, whether it's a sport, whatever. If you sign up for something, if you say you're going to do something, do it, but do it as unto the Lord. So I say that to say that's why I'm here at 9.45 p.m. because I want to do what God has called me to do. And I want to be an influence, y'all, because here's the thing. If you think that doing what God has called you to do is going to be convenient, it's going to be easy, um, know that you're going to have everything, everything's going to be laid out. Um, no, most times it's inconvenient and it's not the most, you feel inadequate and you're like me and I don't have this and wait, I don't have a microphone. Y'all see this little microphone? And then it broke. I just stuck it on my necklace. Anyway, but here's the thing. I'm determined to do what God has called me to do at any cost. And so anyway, I just wanted to share that a little bit because if you're a mom or a stay-at-home um, mom, or maybe you're in a career like me and you're, you know, dual roles and you're trying to figure it out and God is maybe giving you a book to write, or maybe he's, you know, told you that you're going to build an organization or start a business or to volunteer time. And you're trying to say when, where, and what resources and what money's just trust him and step out. So that's the one thing I want to share. But listen, so I love music. I am a singer and I have a new song that is my favorite song. Okay. I have a lot of favorite songs, but, um, I have been listening to a song over and over. And on my ride home this evening, I was listening to this song 
and I heard just as clear as day because I had like I can show you um, what I read out from what I wrote out. I'm sorry for motivational Monday on Monday, but sometimes I don't feel the leading, you know, and so I kept saying like, Lord, is this, you know, I can record this morning. Am I going to do this? And I just didn't feel led. Well, on my way home, I heard just as clear as day, take it to the Lord. That's what he gave me. Take it to the Lord. Ellipses and prayer. Take it to the Lord. And so that's going to be the name of today's um, Motivational Tuesday. Take it to the Lord. And so I wanted to just share a couple of things. Um, first, what I wanted to do was read the words to this song because I think it really sets the tone for where we're going. And I want to encourage you anytime I say, I know it's like, okay, get motivated in your word, delve in your word, but why? Why is getting in our words so important? Why is Latrice on here every week? It's not because I want to be seen, nor is it that I just want my voice to be heard. But this is something that I feel very strongly about. God's word, y'all, his word is an anchor. His word is lively. His word really does change our life. It prunes, it corrects, it propels us, it directs us. Like his word is everything. And if we do not know his word, y'all, we're not going to make it in this faith walk. We're not going to work, make it in our salvation walk. We're not going to make it. I think about, um, I think it's in second Timothy in the first chapter and it talks about, um, Paul is talking to Timothy and he's telling him, do not be timid and, you know, to, to not be ashamed of the gospel and to participate just like Paul has suffered. He's going to suffer. But then he reminds him that you have been saved, but then you've been called. But here's the thing. You've been called. You've been consecrated and set aside for a purpose. But again, you won't know what that call and what that purpose and what, how you're to walk that out. If you're not in the word, the, the, the plan is in the word of God. And then as you get in the word of God, as you study the word of God, he reveals and he guides us through his word. So I'm not just saying, you know, oh, y'all get motivated to just, it's a nice hook to just say, but I mean it, it is our life. Um, and so anyway, I want to read the lines to this song. Hope I want to see if it sounds familiar. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs and to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer, to God in prayer, to God in prayer, to God in prayer. Yes, I'm going to read all of those because there's a reason for that. Then it says, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs and to bear. What a privilege to carry everything everything to God in prayer, to God in prayer, to God in prayer, to God in prayer. And here's the key. Oh, what peace we often forfeit and oh, what needless pains we bear. And I love this version because it put in parentheses, so unnecessary. It's all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer, to God in prayer, to God in prayer, to God in prayer. And y'all, I just, I read that and I kept reading it. This is a version by Chandler Moore. I would encourage you to, um, to read it, but I want to just share with you why I believe this is so important. Um, as I was thinking about just this, oh, what needless pains we bear, what peace we often forfeit, so unnecessary, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. And then here's the thing right before that in a, in a, in a sentence that says, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs and to bear. What a privilege. Listen, some people, what a privilege to carry everything. I immediately thought about, you know, think about, um, I don't know, uh, whoever in your mind is the greatest of great that you would like to meet, you know, and it would be an honor and a privilege. But even in meeting them, if you had the opportunity to meet them, if you had the opportunity to sit down with them, they are not going to say, I'm so glad to meet you. Bring me every problem you have. Bring me every debt you have. Bring me everything you have. Let me carry it for you. But y'all, we have someone who sits high 
who looks low, y'all. And he, it is a privilege. He calls us his own. He chose us. He knew us. And it, like this song says, oh, what a privilege that we can carry everything. You can't go to everybody. You don't have access to everybody. And if you do have access to them, they not trying to take all your issues and, and your baggage. But what a privilege that we can go to God and give him everything. But there's a way we give it to him. We take it to him in prayer, in prayer, in prayer. And then like this, like this sentence said, we forfeit peace. We forfeit peace. Needless pains we bear. So unnecessary only because we won't take it to God in prayer. And so when I was reading that, I wanted to share that because I thought that was so, so important. And talking about today, why I believe it's so important that we stay motivated to get in God's word. I want you to understand just how important it 